Soccer for Sons of American Legion Radio. We have a special edition today, some big news on our longstanding project to update the Chaplain's Monuments at Arlington National Cemetery. And we have a chance to talk to our project director, and that is Rear Admiral Harold Robinson, a rabbi based in uh, the Cape Cod area. Admiral, how are you today? Good to see you. Well, it's good to have the storm past us um, and the power and the Wi-Fi back on. So um, all is good again. It was Absolutely. actually good before. We just don't realize it always. Absolutely. Now, uh, we've been working together uh, a long time uh, on projects at Arlington National Cemetery, the dedication of the Jewish Chaplains oh. Monument in 2011. And we've been working quite a few years to update the Chaplains Monuments to add 20 six names to the Protestant and Catholic monuments and, and, and so several additional improvements. And we had some big news this week with introduction of legislation in the House of Representatives. Yes, we did. Actually, um, this completes the, we now have legislation, bipartisan legislation introduced in the Senate, Senate Bill 1850. Uh, to preserve the memorials and to update the memorials at Chaplain's Hill for the Protestant and Catholic memorial. The, 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 we only built the Jewish memorial um, 10 years ago, so it's up to date. The uh, news this week is that we have bipartisan legislation um, in the House uh, to update uh, to the same effect, um, introduced. Uh, by uh, Congressman Langborn and by my Congressman Keating of Cape Cod, and there's a third there's a third one um, on the um, on the legislation. So we we now have legislation in both houses of Congress. We just need everybody's help um, to get it over the finish line. We're in the we're in the red zone. We just need to get it into across the the, the goalpost. Um, so, um, we're really excited though. Obviously you can't pass legislation that no one submits. So someone submitted it and, uh, and submitted it, you know, how obvious is it that you have, um, chaplains who died in service, um, and whose names are not along with the 140 other names on Chaplain's Hill. And, um, why, why shouldn't somebody whose um, uh, uncle or father uh, passed away, uh, died in service, gave life for country in Vietnam, be able to see um, uh, his name, so far there are only males, um, his name at Chaplain's Hill, along with the, um, the names of uh, the rabbis who have died in Vietnam or the rabbis who died in Korea, or the, uh, the, the Protestants and Catholics who died in World War II, um, or the Catholics that died in Korea. Everything needs to be brought up to date. And we, need to be, um, we need to be what the chaplain corps is meant to be, Catholic, Protestant, Jewish, and everyone, um, ministering to all according to their needs and their desires. These people gave their life in that principle, and it ought to be respected there. And the Congress is going to do that for us. Absolutely. And, and other steps forward uh, that the Senate uh, introduced legislation to support the project. Uh, Senate Bill 1850, as you mentioned, by Senators Raphael Warnock of Georgia and John Bosman of Arkansas. Tell us a little bit, you were instrumental in, get, in getting that approval. Tell us about why, how you were able to make it happen. Well, um, you know, we've been working for eight years with the administrators of Arlington National Cemetery, and they have found new and more elaborate and creative ways to say no. Even, even when the existing legislation clearly in black letters says something like, the secretary of the army can waiver such and such a requirement. They've come back and say, oh no, it doesn't mean 
that it could waive, the Secretary of the Army can waive such and such a requirement. Um, even though that's the, the, the clear meaning of the text and refuse to send um, our waiver request up the chain to the Secretary of the Army. It's been, um, you know, most of our administrators and most branches of government are wonderful civil servants, but sometimes they get a set of blinders on. They only see what they thought they saw. They can't break out of that. So for eight years, and we were in touch finally with um, the Senate Armed Services Committee. And we, we said to the staff there, can you help break this log jam? Can you, can, can you talk to the people at Arlington, which is a military cemetery? Can you talk to them and, and kind of get them over this hurdle? And they got the, the staff there said, you know, we just don't get it. Um, this is like beyond imagination. It's like uh, um, we've been, we're the staff of the Senate Armed Services Committee and we don't get it. Um, this is such an obvious thing to do. And um, why don't we just submit legislation um, and then the legislation will say, do it and they will do it um, because that's the way our government works and supposed to work. So um, that's how the Senate bill came to be with the Senate yeah, Arms Services. Big, we got to make a big thank you to uh, a, uh, an Army veteran, uh, Senator Jack Reed of Rhode Island, uh, 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 helped, helped us with this and uh, a great veteran that he is, graduate of West Point. We certainly appreciate his help in... Uh, in helping us with the Senate side of this. And I'm sad to say as a, as a Navy guy that there's another Army vet that was very important. Uh, come to find out that the Legislative Affairs um, Assistant for Senator Warnick is uh, Margaret, is a, a, a former captain or major in the United States Army, uh, Margaret Mullins. And she's the one that really... Um, uh, put pen to paper and drafted and and pushed it um, into the hopper in in the Senate uh, along with this uh, Senator Bozeman staff. So we got army all over the place. And, yeah, <laughs> we're we're the, the Navy owes you guys one. Um, we tend to be a little bit army centric at Sons of American Legion Radio. Well, yeah, I wonder how come that is being uh, fifty miles from West Point. Um, and, and we have the pleasure of covering the Army football team uh, for 10 years. And uh, although we get a chance to meet the midshipmen at Navy uh, each year, what wonderful uh, young officers they, they become in the Navy and Marine Corps. But uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you about is uh, a big help from the American Legion uh, that uh, we've been fortunate to have Brett Reisted, a past national commander, actively working on our committee, actively speaking on our behalf at several uh, meetings, and then also working to get a resolution through the Department of Virginia, and then also the National Executive Committee of the American Legion in May, Resolution 17, that was gaveled approval uh, a couple of months ago, and we have the full support of the World's Largest Veterans Organization behind us now. Absolutely, and Brett was like heroic. But let's, let's make sure that everybody listening or watching knows what this bill says and what it doesn't say. It doesn't create a new memorial. There are already memorials to Protestant chaplains and Catholic chaplains. They're just not complete. There's a name missing from the Catholic memorial, and there are 25 names missing from the Protestant memorial. And all this does is say that the National Conference on Ministry to the Armed Forces, that the organization that donated the original memorial and the Catholic Archdiocese have the right to add those 25 names and that one name to the existing memorial. And oh, by the way, since one of the memorials is made out of granite and one is made out of concrete, it 
authorizes the national conference uh, to replace the concrete with identically sized, shaped, styled granite so that all the memorials will be the same, um, made out of the same material and be similar in nature. The Jewish memorial um, is already made out of granite. Um, it was donated by Dignity Memorial. We're, we're really glad for their ongoing support in this effort. We've got a piece of granite all cut and ready to be installed, same size. When one of the um, one of the things that Arlington kept getting anxious about was, well, we we have limited space. We can't take any any new space. This is not new space. It's the same size as the piece of concrete that's there, except unlike the concrete, it doesn't need repair every five years because concrete <coughs> disintegrates when exposed to the elements. Granite, not so much. Um, one takes years to disintegrate, one takes millennial. So um, um, all we're doing is adding names, and um, ensuring the longevity of the existing memorials. And what we, we ask our viewers, uh, uh, if they can just help us by making a phone call to their member of Congress, uh, their representative, the office of their senators, and ask for support of Senate Bill 1850, uh, proposed by Raphael Warnock and John Bosman, and House Resolution 4365, introduced by, by Congressman Langborn of Colorado, Hartzler of Missouri, and Keating of Massachusetts. And, and uh, maybe we can have this uh, approved by, uh, by the end of the year, if not sooner. Well, we're hoping for uh, Veterans Day to, to really you know, get this ready so that we can move forward and celebrate it on Veterans Day. By the way, if, if People can make a phone call to their senator's office, two per state. Um, it's one of the few times you get to vote twice uh, <laughs> for the same issue. And, and to, the, to your member of Congress, House of Representatives, you can do it by phone or you can go online. You can go to, um, if, if you live in uh, New York, you can go to the, the um, website for Senator Schumer, the website for Senator um, Gillibrand and, um, you know, send a message. Please support Senate Bill 1850, honoring our chap our military chaplains who died in service. That's all it is. Uh, preserving the monument for our military chaplains who died in service. Then you can go over to your, your House of Representatives and just, you know, one sentence. Please support our heroic chaplains and preserve the memorial um, with the House Bill. Um, you give us the number, Ken. 4365. 4365. We should make a, a jingle with that. 4365. And, um, you know, one sentence online. And they read these things. They'll notice it. Um, and um, you can do it by phone. You can do it using the post office now that the post office seems to have been rejuvenated. So um, you can vote three times. And it's not uh, like New York City with its graduated voting or whatever that's called. Um, uh, each one of those three messages will count um, in its own right. Okay. Admiral Harold Robinson, a rabbi served the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps how many years? 36 years of uh, service. 36 years of service and continues to serve. Thank you for your service to our country. Well, I thank, you know, let me tell you that every, every moment I wore that uniform, I felt honored to be able to do that. And now I am honored to be able to support um, those who died wearing the memory of those who died wearing the uniform of the United States of America. What a sacred moment. Absolutely. Great to talk with you this afternoon and 
we are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel on this very important project that we're all privileged to work on. And uh, Admiral, great to talk with you this afternoon. Thank you, guys. God bless. You too. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio. We're part of Squadron 135 in White Plains, New York. Have a great day, everyone.